Welcome to Success Syndrome, a channel designed to help you discover your potential and fulfill destiny in grand style. A very big happy new year and wait till you see what the year has in stock for you. The reason God allowed you to cross over into 2022 from an epidemic to a pandemic, not focusing on your shortcomings, but His grace. This year, your mockers shall be disappointed at your rising in the name of Jesus Christ. I am overwhelmed with the participation, epigon, acolyte, love from all our subscribers and viewers of this channel. I deeply appreciate every one of you and if you are yet to subscribe, simply hit the subscribe button on screen, like and leave an engaging comment below. This enables you to be instantly notified once new contents are uploaded to ensure you remain a pesetter, a trailblazer, a citadel set on a hill that cannot be hidden. In our previous episodes, we understood that your mindset is the thermostat to your lifestyle. For as a man thinks, so is he. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7. We also understood our identity in Christ, making right choices, distinction to stand out by excellence and ultimately make a difference in life. But in all these, there is a facto principle contingent upon the release of the potency of these divine strategies called prayer. Prayer is your direct access to speak with God and He will speak back to you. you. See, it is a spiritual dialogue and not a monologue medium of communication to the Almighty God. The Bible declaring in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, Call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not. Until you have spoken to God about an issue, you cannot speak to man for him to hear. Until God has answered you, man cannot answer you. That is, you should decide either to pray or become a prey. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 24 and 25, it says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? But thus said the Lord that even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. It says, For I will contend with him that contends with you, and I will save your children. Therefore, pray so that you don't end up a prey. What you have not prayed about can end up making the person a prey. God forbid. An old famous songwriter once said, why worry when you can pray? That means you are either praying or worrying, which can lead to all types of pressures. Blood pressure, high or low tensions, hyper or detention. Put it this way, the antidote to worrying is praying. Prayer is an expression of your unwavering faith in God that is able to deliver on His promise. What you have not committed to God cannot be delivered to you. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 says we should commit our works unto the Lord and our thoughts shall be established. Your delivery in life is directly proportional to your contention in prayer. Ideas without direction can lead to frustration, 
intention without contention will lack manifestation. Your preparation in prayer is the trigger to your manifestation. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 1 tells us that the preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. <laughs> Man's portion on the earth is to pray. God's position in heaven is to answer man. There are God-made answers only for man-made prayers. What your mouth has not spoken to the ears of the Lord cannot be delivered by the hands of the Lord. Once there is a man to pray, there is always a God to answer. Look at the perfect example of our Lord Jesus Christ, who was never found in bed by the break of day. In Mark chapter 1 verse 35, and 36 it tells us that and in the morning rising up a great while before the day he went out and departed into a solitary place and prayed there notice that jesus never interfaced with anybody until he had finished interfacing with the almighty god until you have spoken to god it is risky to speak with man this was the secret of the mighty acts of Jesus, his solitary place of early morning prayers before the day became noisy. Do you know that Jesus never taught the disciples on how to perform miracles? No. Instead, he spent time teaching them how to pray so they don't become a prey. You see, prayer was so important to Jesus that he even rolled out a template for us to follow and not make a mistake because he knew the essence and place of prayer. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13, he laid it out, said, After this manner, therefore pray. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. If Jesus, who is the Son of God, was waking up early to pray in the morning, who are you? Sleeping and snoring does not engender greatness. Be ye therefore followers of the word. Who you follow determines what follows you. What you follow will determine your encounters in life. It is only what you counter in prayer that turns out to become an encounter in your life. In Mark chapter 1 verse 36, it recorded that Simon and they that were with him followed after Jesus. And what happened? They ended up great. It's no surprise that Simon Peter, I think it's Simon Peter's, which is me, ended up great as Peter the Rock, which God built his church, and the gates of hell could not prevail, cannot prevail, and did not prevail against him, against me, and certainly not against you in the name of Jesus. Let me give you a quick definition of another angle of prayer. Prayer is interconnectivity between divinity and humanity. God in Genesis created all living things and creeping things of the earth and fashioned one creation after the order of prayer because of the significance to buttress the veracity of the act of prayer. And Adam called that creation praying mantis. Anytime you see this creation of God, it assumes a constant posture for us to paint pictures from that scripture. Pray without ceasing. That men ought to pray and not faint. Bishop David Oyeripo always says you cannot fulfill a divine agenda in the energy of the flesh. 
Prayer is not a respecter of persons, creations, color, race, title, qualification, position, nor gender because God who instituted prayer is neither a respecter of persons. It is not hard work that makes success, but prayer work that makes success. The way you walk in prayer determines the prayer that will work for you. What is the veracity of your prayers? Never leave your bedside without praying in the morning. Find time in the afternoon and don't fall asleep at night without a prayer. As you begin this year with intense prayer and keep the fire upon the altar burning, like in Leviticus 17 verse 11, the next rising star out of obscurity this year shall be you in the name of Jesus Christ. Why not start now to pray? Leave a prayer for someone today in the comment section below. Subscribe, like and also share this video. See you on our next edition of Success Syndrome on Mental Vitality Channel. God bless you, prayer warriors.